Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of Entropia Content. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Still saying that it's failed to load shit, but I did get some new good news. I actually got the news last night, but I didn't close it because I wanted to share the good news with everyone. I was playing last night to collect a little bit of sweat. Well, uh, maybe before I start the good news, we'll see if there's any level 2 Cyclops nearby. Just a level 3. We'll give him some sweating. Even though he's too strong for me to sweat. Alright, so the good news is that I got two notifications. One is that an item from my shop sold and it was the sweat so that's pretty sweet and it's a big thanks to one of my favorite gods in the universe dream of god so a big shout out to dream of god thanks again for shopping up my camp crunch stall if anyone hasn't checked it out you probably should because even god shops there alright the next thing i noticed i got good news is Another shopper at my Camp Kronk stall purchased one of the Aatrox pets. So Heather Squee Lands. Big shout out to Heather for shopping at my shop and helping support the show. That was really cool. Alright, so... I won't sweat this guy for very long, just while I summarize what the hell is going on in today's episode. Let's see. Last night I managed to collect 688 sweat, or that's just leftovers from the Lesser Elijah. That could be it. Because you know how sometimes when you're crafting, they'll give you some sweat in the loot. If you're crafting with sweat. Oh yeah, and yesterday I had some good news too. We'll get caught up on the good news and then I'll head out and see what kind of action we got for today. I was thinking I've been doing way too much fucking crafting in a row. I'm almost not wanting to do another episode of just crafting. So maybe I'll mix it up today. Start off with a bit of sweating. Then I'll maybe check out Crystal Peak, see what's going on there. There was those missions and shit, so I was thinking maybe doing some of those. Or at least checking them out. No, last night I was thinking, God, I'm dying for weed so bad that I'm almost tempted to order some off the government site. So I was like, shit, if I'm getting that tempted, I should just harvest one of my plants a little bit early so that I have something to tie me over until the rest of the plants are done. So that's what I did. I harvested a few nugs. I think I harvested maybe an ounce or two's worth wet, so it's probably going to dry to a very small amount. Now it must be more than an ounce or two wet. Maybe four ounces, five ounces wet. So what I did is I took a couple of the completely dry nugs, the white rhino, that's like overly dry. I was like, shit, I should take a nug from the wet stuff that I just picked and throw it in the grinder, grind the two up together and see if it helps balance it out. So I did that last night and man, it ground to a nice fine powder and mixed the two. And then it made it like slightly more sticky. So I was like, wow, that's sweet. So I don't even have to wait for it to dry. I can just throw it in the grinder with my already dry nugs and it mixes together quite well. It takes the edge off the white rhino being overly dry. But the nugs that I ground up last night, I forgot to put a lid on them. They just sat drying in the grinder. So maybe that stuff dried out way faster. We'll, we'll check it out. Not too bad. Very fresh taste to it. Only a tiny hint of the white rhino. I wouldn't say it tastes good good. And the plant itself I found it was a little bit on the weird side. I don't know where I got this genetics from. It was just from a random bag of seeds. 
oh yeah, I think this seed was one someone just gave me. And they didn't know what kind it was either. So I was like, fuck. Grew it. Man. The nugs were like, I don't know, I should have taken some pictures of them. Actually, I did. One of the previous episodes, people want to go in the back. I took pictures of the one I picked. Anyways, it's a very fucking orangey and light green nugs. But I find a lot of the plants I grow are either dark green or sometimes purple even. It's kind of nice to get the light green and orange. Very dense nugs too. I'm interested to see how they dry. And I'm assuming it's an indica variety because it was one of the plants that finished growing the fastest. And it's finishing quick as its specialty. It did it. It was definitely like a week, maybe even three weeks ahead some of the other ones. Maybe it's a very pure indica. So I might save some of the seeds from it. I noticed that I didn't have any males growing yet. All my plants have fucking seeds. Even my feminized ones have seeds. Which is rather annoying. I know when I was growing earlier in the season, I had a couple males, but I pulled them out of the ground before their pollen sacs even popped. So I was like, what the fuck? And that was so early in the season, the females hadn't even formed hairs yet. I don't know, does anyone know, can plants get pregnant at a very young age? Or do they have to wait till they've actually matured the hairs before they can go into seed? All right, so let's check out what is the total of my shop sales. It's a little bit slow on the loading today, just like me. Now I was playing the episodes of my other show last night, and man, had some really good items come in. I don't know. Well, I was going to say I should just add it. Alright, so I'm up to 15 ped. That's pretty good. Now, I appreciate everyone shopping at the sales. You're helping me reach the beginning of another 1,000 ped crafting run. Although I don't know how much I'll keep doing these 1,000 ped crafting runs because I'm pretty sure the viewers are going to start doing them like crazy and drop the price of all the blueprints for vehicles. But I'm hoping it triggers maybe Never Dies Plan to Teleport Tokens. Oh, that was the good news yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned it on the show. Yeah, I think I figured it out live on the show. I'm just going to check how much sweat attempts do I got. Still only at 12. Maybe I did run out of Listeria. Oh, it's because that's how much I'm carrying. Now I noticed there's a good amount of fruit and stones that can arrive around this area, so keep an eye out. I think I was walking and picked up some of those giant green fruit. Now I really appreciate it. If anyone else likes it when they see my episodes every day show up and they want to pay me back to swing by one of my shops even the FOMA shop I got a whole bunch of trade terminal plus one items if you want to just donate one ped to the show and even a small sale like that when I turn the game on and I got some sales to report it always cheers me up <laughs> may not seem like much but I'm not difficult to please <laughs> I appreciate the little things and the big things. Who am I kidding? <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of action we can get here. Now, I'm thinking I'll swing by Crystal Peak. Maybe I will do a little bit of crafting just till I finish a couple bowls of my vaporizer. 
it's nice to see so much action around the planet. Maybe this will help for the fucking planet shares. Where are the Holy Ancient Greece is up to three ped. That's what I'm fucking talking about, yo. Alright, so we're back on track. Well done, next Ellen in Ancient Greece, attracting more players here. This is what I'm talking about. We're gonna sell out those Ancient Greece shares. You just wait and see. Now that'll be the thing, if anyone else wants to help the show, what what I'm trying to do, and you can help speed it up, is sell all the available shares of Ancient Greece. You can see we got quite a ways to go. We've only sold 100,000. We have 600,000 left to go. So come on viewers, if you want to help the show out and everyone chip in, buy shares of Ancient Greece. Because once they get down, I'm going to sh sell my shares of Ancient Greece. Hopefully even for not for less than what I paid for them. Fuck. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, then I'm going to use that money to buy a shopkeeper and put it at Camp Crunk. That's what originally my plan was, but I was like, oh fuck, I'll take a gamble on Ancient Greece. And lost. <laughs> wasn't that bad of a loss. I'm still making profit off of it compared to fucking Compet. Compet was a much more substantial loss. Although I do admire Mind Dark's attempt with Compet. It's not a bad idea. But I like the original idea of Compet. I don't know if it was just a rumor or it was actually really part of the idea. When they were talking about how Compet was going to link with Stables and that Stables and Entropia would be linked to Compet, so you'd be like making a game that would expand the universe. And then when I found out that Compet was just its own game and didn't link to those Stables, I was actually pretty disappointed in that. Because I was like, man, if you're going to link a game, that's cool, but if you're just going to do a spin-off game that's not really linked, it's not as cool. Alright, let's get this shit in storage, Joe. Uh. I like to put my shit in storage. It's a good location for it. And we'll give ourselves a little update to see where we're at. Remember I was at a hundred ped roughly for the whatchamacallit, Listerium. So when I did the run on that, I had to make back a hundred ped. But we had that bikini print, so that's going to help make the 100 ped back. If people don't crash the price of it. Come on! <laughs> Only we can keep the price high on shit. <laughs> Brought to you by Smokey the Bear, or vaping. <laughs> Alright, so, so far we got 5 ped shrapnel, that kind of sucks balls, not in a good way. Alright, so we got energy matter of 11, whew, metal residue of 70, I think that's quite a bit from these two though. Okay, arcane palmer, we still have 700 left, so that's substantial. This we're a little bit down. Alright, so we're still pretty early on in the arcan uh, run. And Lesser Elijah, we've already crafted up 42 peds worth. So what happened to Listerium? Yeah, I'm really low on Listerium. So I burned through my entire Listerium pile. It doesn't matter how much I fucking get for... Or wait, no, I'm carrying it, that's why. How much do I got left? Only 3 peds worth. So I basically burned through it. Yeah, so you can see that Listerium or Lesser Elijah one is definitely a harder way to profit crafting. Like, fuck, I looted the bikini print and I think I'm barely going to break even. Depending how much I sell it for. Maybe I'll put the bikini print for 100 pet in the shop, guys, and if anyone can buy it for that, that would really help. I don't know, let's check it out, what it's at now.
don't know where the fuck I put it. Holy shit, someone let it go as low as 37, but luckily people bought it and resold it for higher. Because really guys, if people are fucking you over at the price too bad, that is what you can but do. If there's not too many of the same item, just buy it up, fucking resell it for higher. These people want to take big losses by selling it quick on the auction, they needed the money quick, but... Like fuck, you can see it was selling for over a hundred just like a couple weeks ago. So come on guys, don't lower the price that much, or else it'll make this crafting trick almost impossible to do. It's still profit. We can prevent the forest fires, come on. <laughs> yeah, you can see I got these sand runner prints from doing this trick. Quite a few of them. They were pr pretty hard to loot. Which are those ones? I think they're from Cyrene, aren't they? Or are those the Arcadia? No, those are the Arcadia ones. So if you do the sand runner trick, yeah, for that makes sense, the sand runner blueprint. Then you'll need it for these sand runners, but I find no one ever buys them, so I end up usually trade terminaling it. Let's check how they're doing. See, that's the one really shitty thing when you craft these sand runner fuel cells, you're basically going to throw them in the trade terminal. Unless you know someone who buys them, if anyone does, they can message me, that'd be sweet. I could sell them for cheap, because I'm just trade terminal on them. Hey, Colin Ellery just signed in. She's my favorite sweater in the game. She keeps the best detailed sweat records. If you ever want to learn to sweat and, like from the best, she'd probably be a good mentor. If she does mentoring, I'm not sure. I think her husband, uh, was it Percy? He plays the game too. There's a lot of really cool couples in Entropia. Alright, there we go. So everything's in there. Should I give it a run? I'll try a crafting run with the tool of death. See if it helps. I really should have bought more of the Miluka, just so I could show you how many crafts I really had at the beginning. Basically, well, yeah, I guess you could divide that. So now I'm, I should be at around 6,000. It's not that many. Alright, let's start between the T's. I know it's a little bit greedy to start with that right away. I should bore them up. I don't know. I'm just feeling like today's the full moon. Who knows what could happen. And finishing quick is my specialty. <laughs> Maybe today's the day I finally get a new first to discover print. I should adjust the camera just in case. Make it a nice screenshot for the game. Yeah, that would make for a nice screenshot. Alright, there you go, next Alan. Balls in your court. Do you want a nice screensaver to help advertise the game? Or don't you? <laughs> it's like, what do you want me to advertise? One ped. Is that what you want? <laughs> now, I was thinking that's probably why I should live stream the game. People in the casino have that superstition too. My brother does it all the time. It's like he goes to the casino and, well, I guess he used to back when he could. Maybe you still can. But anyways, yeah, you go to the machine for the slot machine. And a lot of people turn the volume down so they don't get a headache. 
but you tend to see less people win with the volume down. So what he will do is sit down at the machine, crank the volume to full blast, and then pull it. Oh, see, there's a pen. No print, though. Kind of disappointing. I could have used a new rare print there. So yeah, so that's one of the tricks people do at the casino. I was thinking maybe that trick could carry over to Entropia. What you do is you live stream. So that gets everyone's attention, similar to how cranking up the casino volume machine, or the slot machine volume, helps the casino advertise that there's big winners around. So it's like if you're streaming, maybe it'll help advertise that you're a big winner. Casino's like, oh, we should tell people about this guy. Look, he's a big winner. Sadly, that trick has not worked yet. <laughs> Now you can see when you do this, uh, what is it, 10,000 click crafting run with vehicle prints. It's a very slow and arduous process. Very similar to sweating. But I think, as my viewers will probably benefit, most of them, especially anyone who already has a lot of crafting skills and vehicles, and especially the mothership owners i think this trick will help benefit them because a lot of people realize that hey i need vehicle crafting skills so you know who you need to contact when you need vehicle crafting skills mothership owners so yeah i'm hoping i can help boost the industry of mothership owners if any mothership owner happens to notice a big increase in traffic because of this you know where you can drop by to donate to my show <laughs> got some tt plus one. Oh, there is another one ped crafting. See, that's what I like between the T's. As much as you fail a little bit, at least when you get success, it's good success. <laughs> Very good success. Yeah, I'm still so happy. I can't remember if I was able to tell you guys is. My favorite YouTuber, or one of my favorite YouTubers, is back. He's a vlogger that does travel vlogging, bald and bankrupt. He's got a lot of things in the show title I can relate to. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat is posting, does Next Island have shops? I'll put yes. I think Bonnie just got the latest shop, as far as I know. Unless her estate's not a shop, but if it's an estate, you could always add a shopkeeper. Maybe not always, but most cases. Yeah, it was nice. When I added the fresh weed to the dry weed, cut it up. The dry weed was a little bit on the darker side and the brighter orange weed, bright green, helped brighten it up. So I was happy with that. I think I like the brighter orange weed color. But the only thing I didn't like about this plant was it tasted very su sweet and sugary and fruity. Almost like citrus. I'm not a big fan of the citrus cannabis. I like my oranges and citrus to remain in citrus. And Holy shit, this is a lot of fails. Oh fuck, there was a success. I was going to switch it over to the max condition for a few clicks. Right, let's go to the tip of the queue. Maybe a little bit into you. Just gotta get a little in there. Not much.
Man, some good news and bad news about my workouts yesterday. I was like, all right, gotta get back into working out. I was like, holy fuck, noticed a lot of decay. It's like a lot of the gains that I gained were gone. I have to start over. So I was a little discouraged at that. And the one main surprising thing to me kind of caught me a little off guard. is after I had to move my uncle I, I did a very light workout just like a warm-up workout and didn't go well when I had to go to carry my uncle I had really bad muscle cramps almost to the point where I couldn't lift him I was like holy shit took it easy so I could still lift him and it wasn't enough so I'm a little bit nervous to work out again today holy shit there was almost a pad too bad, I was thinking of boosting it to full condition for that one. Oh well, never know. I might not have gotten anything if I did that. Right, maybe for a little bit of extra good luck in the crafting. There is a couple fails at full Q. We'll put it to full condition and to sweeten the pot. We'll do a spin of the free Bitcoin casino. I'm at 19,970. See what I can get it to. Boom. 19,988 Satoshi. So big shout out to everyone who's been helping me raise money for the show. Let's try this in Entropia. Now that free Bitcoin casino is the most trusted online casino for Bitcoin on the entire internet. Years of history without ripping anyone off. And if you want the link below just click the more info button then you'll be all set that's what I like to do do that free spin every hour for the free Bitcoin obviously they don't give you a full Bitcoin just little pieces of it the Satoshi but you can save that shit up right right there was one one peg click from the the full condition you know what I'm noticing a little bit concerning about this is this uh, terminal is not giving any prints or did it yet I don't think it did. Right, let's go for the first T and Teddy. I shouldn't have got so greedy. Went between right away. You gotta warm up. Yes, let's let's fantasize that we get the blueprint that I'm after. Which one is that again? Was it called Sidekick or something? No. It was S something. Yeah, and you think that's a pretty good position to put it on the first tee, because you're getting successes around 32 to 27 and then you're actually only spending 13 peck per click oh lamp attachment fucking hell hate lamps lamps <laughs> alright I was thinking that's a lot of successes and blueprints at the first tee it's probably going to go in a huge streak of losses. So I'll, I'll move it down to the beginning or end of the queue. Set it there for a bit. Oh, here's a cool looking player. What's her name? Something I cannot read. <laughs> She's the captain of Wisdom Sons. I can read that. Yay. <laughs> Nah, sorry. I was saying I wasn't going to make an episode of crafting, but I don't know what it is. I'm just hooked on this fucking vehicle crafting. wonder how many other people are trying the vehicles, how many people are trying Lesser Elijah. A lot of people trying. I haven't seen much in the way in globals around, but...
It's looking like I know this chick from somewhere before. She wanted to hug really bad. <laughs> Let's hope it's a girl. <laughs> I swear that never happens. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I like about the Q position. You get a lot of fucking successes, like near successes, and then you think 13 pack per click, and I'm averaging 17 to 19. Just those occasional fails really fuck you. See, even a near success, 13, boom. But obviously there's a little bit of markup on the materials and I can imagine after I shared this trick people that are fucking on Arcadia that are selling Vin Meluka and Arcan they're probably going to raise their prices. I probably should have bought like enough for a 2000 ped run before I shared the secret but who knows a lot of players might watch this and think hey it's not even that good of a secret because really if you suck at selling blueprints you'll still lose money doing it. Unless you're just collecting blueprints, well fuck, if you're collecting vehicle blueprints, this is probably one of the best ways to do it that I've ever encountered. I wish there was a way to do this with other things, like components, uh, what is it, tools, amps, I wish I had a cheap amp that I could craft, fish for new amp blueprints. Yeah, my old crafting mentor, Mike King Beanut, he was doing it with tools. So he had a fucking blueprint collection of all the fucking healing tools you could get. Yeah, it must be wild to be rich and just be able to craft whatever you want. Usually that's what it is with me in crafting, is I have to find some sort of niche that I can make profits or... Because I'm not going to do something in Tropia that just flushes money down the toilet. As fun as that is to do on occasion, small amounts, I like to actually do things in the game that are improving how much pet I'm getting. I've found ways to do it in hunting with the AI mission, found ways of crafting, selling the blueprints. Mining is really the one that I've lacked a way to find to make money. Although that one episode I was trying to show that I always lose and fucking I turned a profit that episode. <laughs> but that was using that little rookie finder, right? Like, who would have thought that I would have found something in hell with that little mini rookie finder? Especially with so few drops. Fuck, even above ground in hell, I was having a harder time finding shit. It's easier to find shit in hell. Alright, this is good news. Seen a lot of fails, so let's stop it here. Ah, fuck. Try to get a few more fails in there. See, so I like to do is build up a bunch of fails in a row. Maybe five, six, good streak of fails. There we go, there's two fails. And. Once I get it set to that, yeah, once I get it set to that, I'll do, move it all the way to full condition, and we'll do a click for that. But before we do, I've got a bright idea. Let's get a message from the sponsor. Today's show was brought to you by Crack. Crack. It'll fuck you up. Ah, welcome back everyone. God, you know what I love? I love changing scenes and the fucking scene changes. It's fucking amazing. I remember back in my old software, that was like a miracle for that to happen. <laughs> Alright, speaking of miracles, let's do the full condition clicks. Yeah, remember my old software? Was it XSplit? I'm still using the, the camera portion of it, but 
man, the, the rest, like OBS kicks fucking ass. Can't believe how smooth it works. It almost makes me more happy than any Hall of Fame or First to Discover or any Global ever could. Right, Next Island? Come on, hint, hint. <laughs> I was thinking I can hopefully use the broadcaster's jinx by talking about something that occurs. But I think I've double jinxed it where I've talked about it occurring now, it never will. Well, there was one bed. That wasn't so bad. I was worried about a million fails before I hit anything. Alright, let's try the second tee in Teddy. Seems pretty greedy. We gotta balance it out. Don't want the first tee to get lonely. Oh, lamp attachment. You gotta be kidding me. What did I do to deserve this? There we are, Sleipner and four pad. Woo! Too bad it's a very low amount of clicks to Sleipner, but fucking A, right? That's good, because I was like, man, maybe the T's will never provide again. I don't know, it's tempting to move it away, but maybe I should keep it here for a bit. I don't know, it does seem greedy though. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll come back to the second T a little bit later. Usually after a good success like that, I'm figuring there's a big fucking run of fails coming. So that's why I move it back to the queue. At least at the queue, I know it's like a higher ratio of successes. Help me get over the fucking road bumps of a lot of fails. Then once I get through that road bumps of a lot of fails on the queue, then I can be tempted to check what situation I should explore next. Maybe go with the full condition again, depending how many clicks you got left with the sprint. Or maybe just going back to the second tee. You don't want to get greedy though, right? You get greedy going for that second tee and end up with a slap in the face. <laughs> Game could give you a shitload of fails all in a row. Not that I've ever had that happen going for the second tee or anything. <laughs> Alright, see that's why I like this queue. Remember what was it the other day we were using the queue and we still got decent prints from it. That's what I was thinking, if you're really fishing like holy shit you need prints to make it run, might not be a good idea to boost up the condition too much because hell, even at the queue, you're going to be getting successes all the time and still a good chance of prints. So that's what I was thinking, really if I'm, I'm greedy for ped, that's when I'm turning up the condition. But really if I really want the, the most ped, I should just be going for the prints and keep it at the queue. Who knows though, it is a crafting terminal after all, and whatever strategy you come up with could completely backfire. It's almost a guarantee. <laughs> it's the only thing, yeah, you can, the one thing you can guarantee from the crafting terminal is that your plan will backfire. <laughs> whatever plan you have. Oh yeah, that was what comedian was telling a funny joke. I think it was the guy from, uh, what was that? Can't remember. But anyways, <laughs> let's hopefully I can remember the joke too. Oh yeah, he's like, uh, you know uh, how you can make God laugh? <laughs> you say, tell him your plans. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's pretty funny. I think the comedian said it better though. Now 
now it's going to bug me. I'll have to look up the name of those comedians. It's the old British ones. Life of Brian. We still haven't seemed to run into the big roadblock of a lot of fails. Hopefully we can get like four or five fails in a row. Really good sign to move it. So that's I think one of the things people fail at is when they craft. Is when they just leave the crafting terminal. Because you got to watch what the crafting terminal is doing to see if there's any reactions you should take. Could be a fluke that just moving it back and forth seems to help, but I know a lot of crafters I noticed on YouTube are tempted to just leave it full one way or the other, full quantity or full condition. I try to mix it up all over the place, try a good combination of everything. Not that I'm having the greatest crafting success. Crafting is definitely a fine art and with art you can fail most of the time. <laughs> Easy to fail. <laughs> Really got to cut back on this new fresh weed. I'm starting to get pretty ripped. So maybe that's all I needed. The old stale white rhino just wasn't doing it. All right, that's a lot of fails, yo. Ah, oh, fuck. Should have got it in there quicker. Let's hope for another fail. Ah, two successes. Damn, I hate so many success. You know be worse? Fucking global. <laughs> there we go. Ah, fuck. I was hoping I could get a string of failures, but there's just one. Two, there's a failure. Three, alright. Near success. That's as good as a failure. Alright, let's try boosting this shit up. Come on, fishing for a new print. New print. I know this terminal is giving me such shitty prints, I'm almost considering leaving soon. Oh, it did give me that Slepner. Shouldn't complain too much. There was a near success at 82, it wasn't so bad. Fuck, a lot of fails. You gotta think though, that 82 pays for a couple fails. Now we're starting to get into the heavy losses. Oh fuck. This ain't good. I thought I could feel a success coming, but sure doesn't look like it. Oh, this is a lot of fails. I bet you the next one's going to be a near success. 70 peck. Oh, 49 peck. What's wrong? Alright, two fails and then the success. Alright, here's the success. No! <laughs> My hopes up were so high for the great success. Finishing quick will not be my specialty on this. <laughs> Oh, 
Now I was reading on Entropia, if anyone wants to hear some of the latest news. In the update they were talking about, how people would graduate and get some new armor that was really kick ass. So apparently what happened is a bunch of players brought their disciples to Next Island to get them to graduate and they did get a different armor than usual but it turned out they got the wrong armor and they gave them regular pixie armor or something so apparently they're supposed to file support cases 87 pack again I was hoping for just one success is that too much to ask for? Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen with those support cases. Maybe they'll get this new armor. But a few people are complaining about it in the chat. But I was thinking, man, it's inevitable. When you're next island and you're re releasing stuff, it's going to be hard to get it to work. That was a weird pattern. 46, 87. 49, 87. Oh, there is a success. Only one ped, though. I was kind of be hoping it would be something to help make up for that many losses. Let's try the second T. It seemed like it was able to provide. See, isn't it tempting to just leave it at the second T compared to going full condition? Because man, second T is still risky, but it seems like a little bit less risky. Well, we'll check. Still quite a few fails here. Oh god! <laughs> oh, it's ruining me. Ruined! Ruined! <laughs> now if I get into a really bad run, then I can always move back to the queue. Even you isn't so bad. Alright. What I'd like to see is just a print that's limited and a vehicle that I've never had before. That'd be exciting. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Doesn't have to be a first to discover, although that'd be nice. It seems like this has been an okay run so far. That Slepner print is a good sign. Maybe I can get a Space Thruster print. That'd be sweet. You never know. I think there is a chance of getting the quad print doing this, but I've never hit the quad, so I'm pretty sure it might be impossible. Someone was telling me if you craft vehicle prints that are too low in value, it doesn't get you a chance at the quad that you have to be like over at least one ped per click in order to even qualify to win the quad print. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. Maybe one day I'll loot the quad print and prove that wrong. Although I was looking at Rocktropia and a lot of the bigger players that I know that craft vehicles prints more often than I do with bigger prints, they did have prints that I never get. So it's like there must be a, a, a something something to that theory similar to how if you're using the explosive projectile one print you're probably going to be in a smaller loot pool for prints for say looting the explosive projectile three print like if you're using the explosive projectile three print the chances of looting that print are probably way higher Alright, let's go for thruster print. <laughs> Maybe I should try switching tools. It's 
Sometimes I'm tempted to switch crafting terminals, but on Next Island I've been having bad luck even finding crafting terminals. Yeah, 37 seems like a pretty common one to hit on the second tier. So geez, that's almost like triple what it costs to do the click. Yeah, it'd be neat if the first time I actually made a profit from just the trade terminal value. Never had that happen doing this trick. That's why I was thinking it's not really that good of a trick because trade terminal wise you're still losing money. Usually like one to two hundred ped each time you do this thousand ped crafting run. So you really have to loot at least a couple of good hundred ped prints to break even. So one disadvantage to sharing this trick is if a whole bunch of people start doing that it's going to flood the market with prints and all of a sudden the prints won't be worth anything anymore. So then this crafting trick will no longer be a trick. But anyone who's one of my viewers and has been watching, I guess you guys can try it first and see if it works for you. Little present for being a, being a viewer. <laughs> I'll try to get more tricks to share with you guys. I'll have to keep checking out planets, see what new prints come out. Maybe I can find one that's a really low one for something else. I think, what is it, Lesser Elijah is my best one for clothes. My best one for vehicles is Sand Runner. Oh, I was talking to one player and he was telling me something that's really good to get into is those, uh, I can't even remember the names of them. Think what are they called? Textures or something? Those purple prints. He says he does runs of those and he gets really good prints that he can sell. So maybe I'll try that one day. Yeah, you can see it doesn't take long before you're your fucking inventory starts filling with these stupid lamp blueprints. Drive shaft, rubber list, steering lamp, it's all useless. But I'll bring that to my FOMA shop you guys and if you want to help the show out you can buy them for TT plus one. So I'll make these the, the donation prints. And if you happen to need any, there you go. Cheap supply of them. Can't get any cheaper. Not at a shop, anyway. <laughs> so when you think about it, if I can get one ped for each one of these, it's not too bad either. I just wish I was getting limited ones. They usually have better markup. So there's three, six, nine, twelve, eleven. So, well, oh, there's a sub war print. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Sub warp's not the greatest, but hell, 346. The second T provides. <laughs> Some people must be laughing when they do crafting runs of like, I don't know, 10,000 ped. They see this 1,000 ped trick and they're like, this is a trick. <laughs> 
It's kind of like the AI trick. It's a very slow trick. You're not going to make obviously killing doing this. Unless you end up crashing the market for blueprints. <laughs> but to be able to craft something and continually go up and pet is pretty impressive, I think. If you can sell the prints. Yeah, like what was I saying here? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 prints. So that's 11 ped extra if I can sell them for one ped each. That's possible. I'll put them on my shop and hope for the best. Yeah, that was close. My clo clothing crafting run here almost returned nothing, right? Like, if I didn't loot that bikini print, I would have been fucked. Not in a good way. Like, shit, that was my make or break moment. If I didn't hit that fucking blueprint, I was fucked. I managed to get it. I was quite lucky. Uh, these things are shit too. I got a lot of prints to drop off for donations to the show. Maybe these valances I can get a decent return for. This one I'll try 2000% and hope that that fluke of 133% was just a fluke. So 2000% of 90, that'll be pretty good. Let's check the calculator on that. So that's what I mean, if you're optimistic about how much you can sell your prints for, it can, it can make or break your crafting run. Alright, well times it by 2000%. Whoops, put in the wrong numbers, or hit the wrong button. Yeah, I guess it was wrong numbers, <laughs> or no, button. All right, times 2,000%, there we go. Yeah, so that'd be 18 ped, so that's not so bad. Short Lena. So the first one gets me 18 ped, the short royal, see how much it's market value is. Fuck, it's low. It's around 600%. So how many clicks of it do I got? Ah, rubber list, you son of a bitch. Okay, better not get greedy doing too many clicks here. Let's go back to the queue for a while. I notice the tea is sort of getting a little bit raw with the loot. There, that's a little better. Get a steady success going. Alright, so 52 times 600. It's probably going to be one pet. <laughs> nah, it's three ped. So that's not so bad. Three ped for the next one. So we're over 20 ped. Let's check out the market value on this one. Let's let's be optimistic and go for a thousand. I think I can sell it for a thousand. So 
So would that make that probably a six pen? So maybe 26, close to 27 ped that we got in the, just the regular blueprints from that clothing run. So that's not so bad. If you combine that with the bikini, yeah, we should be able to profit this run. It's all a matter of if I can sell it though. If my sales suck, then, then this crafting run will suck. Yeah, that's one thing I was thinking too about the People Makes Games video. How that guy was talking about if I'm doing a crafting run, the only way I'm making up money is if another player loses. And I was thinking, but is the other player really losing if they buy some, say, a curtain blueprint and they craft a curtain to put up curtains in their shop? If it's like, if that's what they wanted to do, I don't really think that's much of a loss in their way, right? <laughs> they got the print that they wanted that they couldn't find anywhere else because they didn't do this giant crafting run. <laughs> it's like supply and demand. It's like, is, is the guy at Walmart who's selling you something taking advantage of someone's loss? <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's a bit of a debate. I gotta try greasing my chair again, but I already like soaked it in like WD-40. So I was like, what the fuck more can I do? Ah, oh, disc break, you son of a... <laughs> it's like, where was those fucking caca blueprints when I need them? Or cracka? <laughs> you could call it caca. <laughs> See, that's the thing. When you set it to the queue, I think you're going to hit blueprints more often. Let's see. It's too bad. I was thinking three, two or three shows in a row there. I had one good print that I could show off that I looted. Oh yeah, I had the warp drive print. Should check that one out. So I'll call this video how to loot warp drive. Yeah, I think it added it to this stack. See, I'm already over a hundred Sleipner clicks. So that's Man, can you imagine back in the day when Sleipner clicks used to be 7,000 for each vehicle? So I think that's what happened. More and more people realized that you could fish for vehicle prints easier and cheaper with the new trade terminal prints from Arcadia. It's the, the one I'm using. Fuel cells. So after they realized that, then the prints value started to crash. I think it's good in a way that people managed to stabilize it, so at least Sleipner Prince didn't crash down to zero markup. That would really suck. It's a possibility. Could happen if people exploit this trick too much. What I'm hoping is I don't really have that many viewers to my show, so it would be a very small amount of people that actually figure it out and start using it regularly. I think so far I've, I've got quite a bit of loot to bring back for my shop. I'm not too disappointed. Sleipner prints, thruster prints, both of those are pretty good. Who knows, I still got quite a few ped, like wasn't I at like 700 still to go? So I'm pretty sure I'll be getting a few more vehicle prints yet. The adventure hasn't ended. Right, next next episode of Promise, I'll try to do less crafting and head out and do some exploring. 
I don't know, saving up this thousand ped crafting run, it's just been eager to keep doing it. What are we, like four hours into it or something? <laughs> I was hoping for a big run of failure so I could do one last thing of full condition. We'll have to do those two near successes as the failure I'm looking for. Come on, what can we end with? I predict another one ped. 111. Come on, 111. Whew. Maybe I'll stop it occasionally, restart it, make sure the game knows I'm active. There we go. Yeah, this, this guy's a new player. He's a freelancer. Looks like he has a cool gun. Maybe it's someone that's created a new account to take advantage of the the new player missions. Holy shit, look how many fails again. There we go. Oh, it was off by one pack, eh? Remember I said 111 was my guess? <laughs> Alright, so 111 was my guess, and we got 110 to finish. <laughs> Do I know this print or what? <laughs> uh, let's finish, wrap up the show. We're over an hour mark. Sorry, guys, no big, uh, big success with the prints today. But hopefully, next episode, I'll find some more action. We can maybe mix up a little bit of crafting with exploring. Maybe I'll check it out a little bit tonight to get a heads up on where it is so I have an idea of what to do. Not just roam around aimlessly. Maybe I'll do that too. <laughs> Alright, Patreon is where you guys can go to help out my show. It's mostly ancient mystery stuff on the Patreon page right now, but I'll try to update it with some video game stuff from Entropia and, and uh, Clone Evolution. Schwagbucks is the one where you can uh, get discount codes on the, the shirts. The shirts are at Society6. Game kits where you can get paid to be a gamer. Hideout is where you can pay to watch videos. Bitcoin is where you can do the free spins to help my show. And then uh, what else is there? Raven Jade has the shirts that I've got linked below. Entropia Zine is the magazine that I've got linked below. And the Virtual Maid is for adults only and for men only. But ladies, if you need a sex machine, you'll probably have to call someone else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. You can call me if you're really desperate. Alright, so next thing is, I think that was all that I wanted to cover for that. Now I do not have a bright idea. Now, I was checking to see if you happen to get a little bit of metal residue from a crafting run that got Sleppners, or however you say that ship name. <laughs> that's what you get in your vaporizer and it tastes like shit give the show a dislike but if that didn't happen if you can give it a like I really appreciate it and yeah take care everyone I'll see you tomorrow and make sure you never purchase the products from my sponsor because it will ruin your life bye for now everyone see ya Here's a video, two videos, and a subscribe.